Hi everyone, it's Eva Pichak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to talk to you about an element of a high six and seven figure entrepreneurship that maybe you haven't heard much about and namely self-care. If you're a business owner already and you're striving for 10k, even 50k per month, I want you to ask yourself a question. How much time in your diary and how much importance in your mind is there for self-care? Like taking care of yourself, uh, eating healthy, exercising, uh, programming your mindset for the results you want, rest, sleep. How much importance do does this bear in your diary? And I want to share this with you because when I started my business, I was following the common perception in the market where you hear pretty much everywhere that as an entrepreneur, you need to work hard and you need to take lots of activities and you need to spend hours creating your business. And very quickly, I started burning out. Yes, I was reaching 3000. I replaced my corporate income with my business e uh, income within six months earning about 3000 net per month from my consulting business consistently. But very quickly, I realized that if I keep going and I keep working so hard, I'm going to burn out. There is a period in my business where I, um, I literally was getting sick because of working too much and not taking too much care about myself. So um, every single month, there was a period of, of my life where every single month I would fly somewhere to Canada for training with Bob Proctor, to some sort of holidays with my partner. And I would fly for about a week, then come back and lose my voice and get laryngitis for, about a, for another week. And then within two weeks uh, per month, I was trying to squeeze in all the business activities and work very, very hard to catch up for my monthly business revenue. And that was pretty much happening um, every single month for about six months. At some point, I realized that if I keep going, my body will completely crash. And that was a wake up moment for me because I realized I wanted to grow my business. I wanted to earn more. I also wanted more balance. I wanted more travel. I wanted more luxury and comfort. But I realized that working hard is not going to get me there and it's not the answer. And one of the elements that I've that of the shift that I've made that literally moved me from fifty thousand per year to fifty thousand per month within two years is taking care more of me. In fact, my self care is part part of my business schedule. And if it's not part of yours, then I would encourage you to actually make it part of it. And why is self care important? And so by self care, what I mean is. Um, eating healthy, uh, taking care of your mindset, going to the park, like uh, resetting your mind, sleeping while exercising, those things make you feel good. And why is it so crucial as an entrepreneur to feel good? Because according to the law of attraction, if you've been following me for quite some time, you know that I'm big into universal laws. You attract not what you want, you attract how you feel. So if you're exhausted, if you're tired, if you're frustrated and anxious, then you will start attracting trouble in your business, like prospects on the calls who are not the right fit, they waste your time and they're energy drainers. You will attract um, circumstances, people uh, uh, pushing you the wrong, like, the wrong way, pushing the wrong buttons. It's nearly like you're, the way you feel is attracting circumstances and people and situations that make you feel the same way. So you may go like this for a period of time, but eventually you will start getting more and more negative situations in your life and you will get exhausted and drained and eventually burned out. So one of the things that I've done is I decided enough is enough. This is going to be part of my business schedule. And whenever I feel like I might be going to the old Eva's mindset where like, you know, last weekend we were moving uh, our home and it was so crazy busy, my old self would go into overdrive and I would work seven days a week. That was my tendency five years ago. But my new self was like, no, I'm going to take one thing at a time. And if I need to shift things, I'm going to shift them and there will be time for me. 
So I made sure there was time for my mindset, there was time for exercise, there was time to eat healthy as best as I could. Yesterday we went for dinner and, and it was just like half an hour dinner in a restaurant, but I just needed some of this normality, feeling rested, feeling creative so that I can go back and do more work with more strength and feeling good. And I tell you, if I didn't do it, probably after this weekend, I would be sick because like we were moving on Saturday until like 5 a.m. The moving company was late for hours and uh, <laughs> they moved us within like 12 hours, like between 5 p.m. and 5 a.m. Anyway, that's a story for another video. But like really, if I didn't have self-care in my business, not only my business would not be growing like it's growing and within two years from implementing this as one of my shifts i went from fifty thousand per year to fifty thousand per month and this was not by working harder this was not by following these common rules in society where they tell you that you should be working 60 80 hour weeks some people even work 100 hour weeks i promise you that works in reverse because apparently after 50 hour work week, you are already going into the tired zone. And the tired zone means that you're gonna attract making mistakes, people who drain your energy, waste your time, situations that will poke you the wrong way. It is no fun. So today I wanna to challenge you to just look at your diary and ask yourself, where is my self-care? How much importance am I placing on this? And am I actually treating this as part of my business day? And if you don't, I would love to encourage you to start doing that. And finally, I have something really amazing that I'm getting ready for at the end of this month. If you love my tips about growing six or seven figure business and you really want to go to that 10K or even more consistent income per month, we will be running a superb workshop towards the end of this month between Monday and Friday, 24th and 28th of August at 1 p.m. Irish and then we will have a replay at 8 p.m. Irish. So if this interests you, if you want to get over this working hard uh, programming and blueprint and you want to go to that next level of income, like 10K consistent per month, you feel like you're taking a lot of actions but you're not reaching that number, then you want to make time for this. This is, we've never done this before. It's going to be five days, 45 up to 60 minutes per day at 1 p.m. Irish. You want to clear your diary right now and I will send you proper invitation within the next few days, but you already want to make a spot in your diary because I know if you're someone like me five years ago who was very busy, you already need to make a plan. And trust me, if you treat this like the self-care that I mentioned today, you will be paid for it. I mean, it seriously, the 50,000 per month was nothing to do with doing more of what I used to do. Different strategy, different thinking, mindset work, and self-care. So I hope it gives you some food for thought and I'm looking forward to seeing you in our five-day workshop and also I'm wishing you to implement this tool and see the results that I've seen. Thank you so much for watching. Have a phenomenal week.